Hello guys and welcome to a new series where we will show you how to make a multiplayer VR game using the networking framework of Normcore. So if you stumble upon this video, you might specifically search for Normcore or you are still looking for the perfect networking framework for your project. Therefore, we want to give you a very brief overview of the different multiplayer frameworks out there and tell you why you might want to start out with Normcore. Feel free to just skip to the Normcore account setup. Also, therefore, you should be cautious about information you can find on the website of a multiplayer service, since they usually give you an estimate of how many players are supported in a game, which doesn't reflect the actual maximum for VR avatars. Let's quickly look at our overview. As you can see, the most popular services offer a free option. These free options run on a public cloud and are weaker than private cloud solutions. The prices for private cloud solutions, however, can escalate really quickly. So again, make sure that you have a clear goal for your application. There is a reason why networking is the premier league of game development, and even experienced developers might have never touched multiplayer features. Networking can get very complex and very quickly. In short, Photon is now further developing their very popular PAN service and concentrating on the new and very capable Fusion service. Fusion is way more efficient in its bandwidth usage and allows for more possibilities than before. A further strong point of Photon is the very fair pricing even for private cloud options. However, Fusion also seems to be more complex than other frameworks and very hard to get started with for beginners. Many parallels can be drawn between Fusion and Unity Netcode networking framework. But again here, Netcode doesn't seem to be as beginner friendly as other services and require more setup from the developers themselves. Furthermore, Netcode as well as Fusion don't offer much documentation and online materials at this point of time, which is another reason why I wouldn't recommend this service to beginners. If you would like to get started using Unity Netcode, check out the brilliant tutorial by CodeMonkey. Now, let's look at Norcore. We think of Norcore as a very beginner-friendly network solution for Unity with a good starting documentation that have all the basics covered and for more specific problems, you have an active Discord channel. Normcore has by far the easiest setup, but it's also limited in many other aspects. If you are thinking of creating a VR game with more than 12 VR avatars per room, you should probably consider another service since the Normcore private cloud option that could handle such loads are very expensive in comparison to Photon, for example. If you would like to know more about other frameworks, check out this awesome video from Jason Women. Enough say, let's finally get started with the setup of the Normcore networking framework and create our first VR multiplayer game. To start using Normcore, we need to create an account on the official website. As always, the link is in the description below. Then we click on get started and we can sign up. For now, let's select the free plan which comes with a few limitations. 30 players connected at the same time, which translate to about 4 to 10 VR avatars depending on your bandwidth usage. A maximum of 10 rooms at the same time and a maximum of 1 hour usage, meaning that a room can be online longer than 1 hour in a single session. 50 hours usage in total per month across all the sessions and a maximum bandwidth usage of 120 GB. After we press submit, we will have access to our dashboard. Here we have a quick access to the documentation and as you can see we have a lot of materials and basic tutorials that we will cover in this series. Then we have access to create an application, to access the Discord channel, and to download the SDK of Normcore. Next, let's create an application. We click here in Create an Application. Then we set a name and click on Save. This will give us an app key. We can use this key in the Unity project to connect to the Normcore services. Next, we are going to create a new Unity project. If you are unsure how to do this, Check out our part 2 of how to make a VR game series, where we show you all that you need to know. If you're gonna set it up by your own, don't forget to install the XR management plugin that we will use to initialize the VR 
and manage our different plugins such as Oculus and OpenXR. And the XR Interaction Toolkit, which is our VR interaction system and we will use it to control the head, body and hands of our avatar. Once this is done, we are ready to download the SDK of Normcore. Let's go back to the dashboard and click on download. This will redirect us to the Unity Asset Store so we can click on Open in Unity. Then in the Package Manager, we can click on Import and we import the full package. After the compiler is done, let's go to the folder Normal, Examples and VR Player. Let's grab the Real Time Plus VR Player and put it into the scene. As you can see here, we are missing the app key that we created before. If you didn't save it, we can always go back to the dashboard, click on Applications, and copy the app key. Let's go back to the editor and paste it. Let's open the scene window and click on Play. And as you can see, our avatar is spawned. But if you test this right away, you're gonna see that the view is static. That's because we are using the main camera and it doesn't have any component that will receive the inputs of our device. For that, we're gonna stop the game, right click on the hierarchy, XR and XR Origin VR. We expand it and then we click on real time VR player. So here we have the real time avatar manager, which contains the local avatar prefab and local player. Local avatar prefab name is a little bit misleading because this prefab will be shared across all the clients, while the local player will be used to hook the transform of our actual local player, in this case the XR region. Our network visuals will follow our local movement accordingly. Let's set it up. XR region to the root, main camera to the head, left hand to left hand and right hand to right hand. And let's click on play. All right. As you can see, we were able to connect to the same room, my friend and I. With the XR region, we can move the visuals accordingly, and with the built-in audio chat, we can move the mouth pivot as we speak. We will look into that closer in another video. Now we have everything we need to get started with our VR multiplayer game. And that's it for this video. As you can see, in a few minutes we went from choosing a multiplayer framework to having a running VR multiplayer game. In the next video, we are going to show you how to interact with objects, like grabbing or throwing them, and the basic movement. If you enjoy this kind of content, please consider subscribing to the channel or leaving us a like. You can find all the source code for these videos on our Patreon, and if you have any question, feel free to join our Discord channel, and we will be happy to answer you. Thank you so much for watching this video, and see you next time!